Hi Fudgies, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week I'm sharing five Thanksgiving inspired lunches. So get ready for some cute turkeys and <laughs> yummy pumpkin treats. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Now let's get started. I'm kicking things off with lunch idea number one. Now even though my kids aren't huge fans of veggies, I try to throw one in every lunch. So today we're going with some broccoli. And to help encourage my kids to eat it, I'm also going to give them some ranch. And I have these new Sistema containers they're a little bit bigger and easier to dip broccoli in. Next up, I have a very special holiday sandwich. This is sometimes called the leftover sandwich because it's something you might throw together the day after Thanksgiving. In my version, I use a soft herbed roll. I get these at Trader Joe's, they are so good. I add a little bit of mayo, followed by some leftover cornbread stuffing. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to each sandwich, followed by some turkey. I don't have any leftover Thanksgiving turkey yet, so I'm just using some deli slices. And then I'm gonna top it all with some cranberry sauce. Now, if you're not a fan of cranberry sauce, you can go ahead and leave this out, but I really like the combination of sweet and savory in this sandwich. And to keep our sandwich together in our lunchbox, I'm going to add these really cute Thanksgiving picks. These look like a little cornucopia. For today's fruit, I'm going to add a mini pumpkin. No, just kidding. This is actually a mandarin orange with a little piece of celery stuck in the top. These are just like the ones I made for Halloween, but I didn't draw a jack-o'-lantern face on these. Super easy to bake and really cute. Now, usually I put either yogurt or some kind of cheese in the lunches, but today I'm gonna switch it up and go with some cottage cheese. Next, I have a really special potato chip to add to the lunch. These are turkey and stuffing flavored kettle chips. I got these at Trader Joe's and they're pretty tasty. For a little bit of a sweet treat, I'm going to put in a few of these pumpkin spiced pretzels. These are so good. I have a local grocery store that makes lots of different flavors of yogurt pretzels, and the kids really like these ones. And then because I think the kids might need an added snack today, I'm also going to throw in one of these pumpkin cereal bars. These guys are seriously good. Trader Joe's makes lots of different flavors of cereal bars, and I really think the pumpkin is one of the best. Okay guys, lunch is over now and you can see how they did. It looks like they ate most of it. I see the oranges are gone, the pretzels are gone, most of the broccoli, except for Lily's. It looks like she only took one bite of the sandwich, just one. Next up, I have a lunch idea number two. I'm gonna start by throwing in some thinly sliced carrot and cucumber. This is a combo I know Lily will love. Followed by some orange smiles. I know Lily loves these too. And then I'm going to add a really fun sandwich to this box. But it's actually really simple. I'm just taking some regular bread, some cheddar cheese, and some salami. And to cut out the bread, I have this little plastic container. It makes a perfect circle. And then I'm also using this really fun cutter as well. These turkeys look terrific, <laughs> but like I said, they're really easy to make. On the top of the sandwich, I've added a small round piece of bread, a little piece of cheese for the turkey's beak, a tiny piece of salami for his waddle, and of course, some candy ice sprinkles. In this separate container, I'm adding some vanilla Greek yogurt. This is a staple in our house. The kids eat it all the time. But today, instead of granola, I'm going to top our yogurt with some pomegranate seeds. Let me know in the comments down below if you like pomegranate seeds. My kids usually do, so we'll see how they like it on yogurt. Pomegranate seeds definitely make me think of Thanksgiving, and I think they're really pretty. They're like little jewels. Next up, I'm adding a really special treat. These are homemade pumpkin muffins. And you guys, these are really easy to make. There's literally just two ingredients. One box of spiced cake mix and one can of pure pumpkin puree. That is it. You just mix the two together and bake them. These come out really moist and very soft. They almost taste like a real slice of pumpkin pie. And to make them even better, I'm going to add some Thanksgiving picks. And that is everything in today's lunch. Afterwards, <laughs> I'll show you what the kids thought. It looks like they did pretty good today. Mackenzie just has a few carrots left. Same with Jackson. But it doesn't look like Lily ate any veggies. 
Now I do have to say that she did ask for more oranges though. I think she almost had two whole oranges just by herself. But this big mess of a sandwich kinda looks gross. Moving right along to lunch idea number three. Today we're going with a hot lunch. I've started by heating up some mashed potatoes. And then to add to the mashed potatoes, I'm also gonna heat up these turkey cranberry meatballs. The kids have never tried these before. I think they're a new thing at Trader Joe's. Now that everything is hot, I'm going to quickly get it into my preheated thermoses. I think the combo of mashed potatoes with turkey meatballs sounds really good. Hopefully the kids will agree. Next, I'm going to add a really special yogurt today. This is the Pumpkin Harvest Crisp. So this is pumpkin low-fat Greek yogurt. There's pie crust pieces in there and some pumpkin seeds. The kids usually like the flip yogurts, but they haven't tried the pumpkin ones. I'm guessing they're gonna like them though. For the fruit today, I'm adding some cantaloupe that I've just cut into bite-sized pieces. And for the vegetable, I'm adding some celery sticks. And then to dress it up, I'm adding my Thanksgiving picks. I actually found these at my local grocery store. Next up, for an added snack, I'm making some popcorn. But not your average popcorn. This is actually corn on the cob popping corn. I've never tried this before either. It's also from Trader Joe's. They just have so many interesting things at Trader Joe's. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. I'm just gonna stick the cob in the microwave bag and it's only gonna take 90 seconds. And just like that, this totally worked. But I do have to say some of the popcorn made its way out of the bag and it was all over the inside of the microwave. And then last but not least, I'm going to throw in the last of our pumpkin muffins. I made a big batch yesterday and these are the last ones. And there you have it. I think this turned out really cute and I'm pretty sure they're going to love it. Okay, time to see how they did. Looks like Mackenzie ate all of hers. And then Lily, she has one meatball left and a couple of spoonfuls of mashed potatoes. So that's better than I thought she'd do. But as you can see, they all enjoyed the yogurt and the muffins and most of the popcorn's gone. And as you can tell, they enjoyed just about everything else. There's not much left over today. Up next is lunch idea number four. For today's lunch, I'm starting with the fruit, which is a combination of strawberries and blueberries. I would love to know in the comments down below what your favorite fruit is. Next, I'm throwing in a handful of baby carrots with some ranch to dip in. And then, instead of a regular sandwich today, I'm making some rolled up sandwiches. For this, I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of cranberry sauce to some cream cheese. And I'm gonna mix those together and I'm going to spread a thin layer all over my tortilla. Next, I'm adding a few slices of turkey, a few leaves of spinach, and a few pieces of Havarti cheese. Then I'm gonna roll it up as tightly as I can. Then I just slice them up and add them to the lunch box. I do like to add some picks in there just to make sure these don't unravel. Next, I'm throwing in a Baby Bell cheese and I've cut out a little T on the front for Thanksgiving. Then for an added snack today, I'm going to put a handful of these giant corn snacks. These remind me of a snack called corn nuts. Those are really popular when I was in school. You guys will have to let me know if you've ever had corn nuts and let me know if they're popular at your school. Next, I have a very special treat today. These are the maple leaf cookies from Trader Joe's and they are so good. They smell amazing. If you're a fan of maple, you will love these. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add one to each lunch box. Now one more step before I get my lids on, I do wanna take a picture for the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. If you haven't joined already, you totally should. It's a really fun community where you can share your fun lunch creations or ask any lunch-related questions you might have. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the bread. The rolled up sandwiches? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, those are tasty. It doesn't look like you really enjoy the little corn pieces though. The corn was kind of too hard for me. Yeah, it was pretty tough, but it looks like you enjoyed the fruit and the veggies. The rolled up sandwiches are mostly gone. So great job today, guys. Up next is lunch idea number five. First up, I'm adding some thinly sliced cucumbers. That's been a big hit around here recently. And the kids will even eat it without ranch now. For our fruit today, I'm doing a combination of honeydew melon, which is my personal favorite, and raspberries, which are Lily's favorite these days. 
I'm gonna add my Thanksgiving pick in there. And then I usually like to add some kind of cracker or chip to the lunches. So today I'm adding these cheese stars. The kids have actually never tried this brand before, but I had a few and I think they're really good. Next, I'm adding some pumpkin seeds. I just have these in a separate container and I will go ahead and add a lid before I package it all up so they won't spill out. These are actually the pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds from Trader Joe's, so they're a little bit sweet. I definitely recommend them. Next, I'm going to add some leftovers to our thermoses. I think leftovers are the perfect option to take in a thermos. I'm gonna add a little bit of this cornbread stuffing, and then traditionally you might put some leftover turkey, but I'm just gonna add some leftover rotisserie chicken. I would love to know in the comments down below if you actually have a turkey on Thanksgiving, or do you do a chicken or ham or some kind of other thing? Let me know what you like to have. And then lastly, I'm gonna throw in one special snack today. These are the pumpkin spiced fig bars. My kids love the fig bars but we haven't tried the pumpkin spice one yet, but they sound really good. Okay guys, I'm super impressed. It looks like they did really good today. There's not much left over at all, just a few pieces here and there. Mackenzie's thermos is empty. Jackson's is pretty much empty. And Lily has about half of hers left, which is kind of normal, but it's also more than I was expecting her to eat, so I'm not complaining. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag Luna lunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.